What is the crack, lads? We're back. And a lot of people were asking me for this one, the new FC Barcelona 22-23 season that released today. And I think this is a good pack, lads. We're going to get into a couple of the players that I think are the highlight players. We are going to do the rest of the packs as well. We do have Arsenal, United and Bayern yet to do. We have done the Bruno Fernandes one. So check that out if you haven't. We've also done the Player of the Week review where there's a couple in there. We will be doing the nominating contract one and the era the VC one as well. So there's a lot of content to get through. But again, it's just packs. It's just, you know, players. It's new players. You can get a lot of these players on the standard version and you can train them up to be as good if not better in some cases, but not as good in other cases. So there's more of a grind. If you are prepared to sit down and, you know, grind a player out and use a load of trainer points, use 60 to 70,000 trainer points to get a player up to his max ability, you can do that. But if you want a more finished article that you can slot him into your team and build them and play with them as you go, then that is completely up to you guys as well. I mean, there's, there is a lot of balance in there done this year. I think that has not been there before. So it is interesting to see that. So we're not going to focus too much on on the players that we've already kind of probably looked at a lot like the bigger names Lewandowski and Fati they were versions of these are already out there. The Ansu Fati card that's out there this is not as strong as the legend Ansu Fati card because of his form. We've also got Lewandowski who's on A form. You know what you're getting with Lewandowski lads. This is one of the better versions of Lewandowski out there. Like he has got absolutely insane stats, like ridiculous stats. And I think he is actually the best version of Lewandowski out there when you do compare him with the rest of them in terms of the ability that you have and the progression points that you can put into him. So we will focus on Lewandowski, Pedri, Jordi Alba, Rafinha, who we've already mentioned in the last pack that comes with the Bruno Fernandes pack. Gavi and of course Araujo as well. Kessie is a very good player but I think that again as I said I think Gavi and Pedri are more kind of like the limelight is on them here because Kessie you can get a lot of players that will do the role that Kessie does. So I mean look if you're buying this pack all of these players are really really good. The packs are actually very balanced this year um, compared to when they released for Pez 2022 or eFootball 2022. Um you know, and you've got players like Jordi Alba who excel now in this position that actually give you a viable option at left back. That's not Alfonso Davies. That's not Roberto Carlos. So yeah, there's a couple of interesting ones that we will get into over on eFootballDB.com when we train them up or whatever. But Lewandowski, Pedri, you know what you're getting with those guys. Really good base stats. Excellent base stats, really. Unwavering form. And as you see, he is on A rating. I don't need to go into too much of the player skills because look, you know what you're getting with Lewandowski, lads. And you go over here to eFootball DB. He goes to 97 overall, 97 finishing, 93 offensive awareness, and we have just maxed this guy out as a pure finisher in front of the goals. Not too speedy, not too pacey, but ball control is really good. His kicking power is really good. His jump is good. His header is good. And that 97 finishing, lads, you will literally be able to fart and the ball will go in into the back of the net. He is that accurate and that good. You won't need to put any, you know, real thought into shooting. You're just going to score pretty much every chance you get one-on-one -on -one if you're fairly average at the game and being able to pick a corner. It's, it's as simple as that. So... He's one of the highest finishing stats in the game, as far as I know. There is other players you can boost up, um, but to get that mix of aerial ability in the header and the finishing is very, very, very impressive, I would think. Um, we've also got a look here at Ansu Fati. Again, I'm not going to focus too much on him because his legend card is really, really good. He, he only has standard form as well. Um, Jordi Alba, that's something that I wanted to focus on. I'm going a bit higgledy-piggledy with this. I'm not really having any structure on it. Jordi Alba, lads, I think is a bit meta, right? If you look at his card here, because number one, you've got an 83 base left back that's got really good stats. The only thing that's really letting down this Jordi Alba card at the moment is his defensive awareness, but he is an offensive full back, right? So if you are going to be boosting him up, you can just like literally turn him into, as I said, like turn him into that solid left back that you can have, that you don't need to focus too many points on other areas of the pitch, such as passing or anything like that, because his stats are really solid for that. So when we go over here, we will see, I've made a couple of changes to his card here. We have maxed him out, and this is what he could potentially train into. This is what I would probably recommend to do. Speed and acceleration, 88 and 89. Offensive awareness is very, very good. Defensive awareness is 80. His strength is really, really good as well in terms of his balance and his stamina. And then you've got the passing, which is 75 plus. Always a really good sign of a left back that can bring you into the ball, uh, bring you into the play. 
and then the dribbling is very high as well but it's those key stats defensive awareness speed and offensive awareness if you are using a left back or a 3-5-2 formation and using Jordi Alba as a left midfielder he will have the defensive capabilities of getting back as well so you will have to put anchor on him or defensive but yeah that is a that's an end level left back there lads absolutely insane I would actually really consider getting Jordi Alba if it was me because I actually love this Barcelona pack only for I have already got the Barcelona players before and I have pretty much everyone on it so I'm probably not going to bother to be honest um but yeah a form as well un unwavering form and a player rating Christensen not bad either B rating he's got fairly average stats he's got 21 levels we're not going to focus too much on him because there is a lot of standard center backs with standard form and all that um Ter Stegen the same I already have Ter Stegen he's got standard form so for a goalkeeper his reflexes are okay but again you're not going to get high 90s and any other goalkeeper stats apart from the reflexes and maybe awareness so yeah I mean they're a dime a dozen those goalkeepers if you've got 100k to spend and uh Kessie so as I mentioned, Kessie is, again, he's a very, you can, yeah, I mean, I, I'm not, I'm, I, all I'm saying is, right, Kessie is a beast. This, these packs are very balanced. There's a lot of really good players here because he's got insane player stats and player skills, and he's also got a wavering form, right? I just, I'm making the point again, is that you can buy a lot of players for this role, the box-to-box -box role. There is mount of players that you could have there. Like, even off the top of my head, you have DePaul, Verratti, um, Canales, you have Kovacic. You can pretty much turn anyone into that box-to-box -box player, pump up their stats to be even better than Kessie's. His standard version is insane as well. Partey from, from Arsenal is a really good player as well. So there's a lot of players there. It's not that I'm, like, under-appreciating Kessie because he is an absolute monster, but I just think that there's so many players that are you're like are similar to him that you can replace him with. Um, so yeah, that's my reasoning with that one. But yeah, some people will get Kessie and they'll find that he's a he's a unit man. He because he has that brilliant aggression stat as well, defensive awareness and tackling, coupled with the speed and acceleration, he is insane. But we are going to focus on one of the best players in this pack next, which is Gavi, right? So we're going to take a look over on eFootballDB.com. Now, Gavi has standard form, but he's B rating. He's got incredible player skills, all that sort of stuff. Watch what he trains up to. You know, really, really good. Now, obviously, there was another version of this Gavi here. He's not 95 overall. He has actually only got five levels to go. His standard version has 45 levels to go. So you can actually get a better version of Gavi with the standard version. But it does have a couple of different stat uh, discrepancies, as you can see there. This card that I'm hovering over, the 85 standard version, has still got 20 levels to grow here. This one is the one we were looking at here, which is the finished article. So look at his stats, man, right? You've got incredible stats here. 77 speed, 83 acceleration. That's fine for a CMF. Look at the ball control, the passing and the balance. Ridiculous. And you've also got defensive engagement and aggression, which is really undervalued on this card. So he is a very good player. If you are looking to get this Barcelona pack, I definitely think he is worthy of you know picking up Pedri then is like his twin right except he's got a more he's a better version of Gavi so he's got 29 levels and he's got better speed better dribbling and better passing as well as better everything really obviously he's a higher rated card but they are very similar I think Pedri is one of the top five players in the game he was better back in eFootball 22 but I think he is one of the best AMFs in the game he can do it all he can tackle he can defend he can get back he's got unwavering form he's got every player skill that you could possibly want and as I always say he is a beast so on from that then we have also got um, Sergio Busquets who I'm not going to focus on you know what you're getting with Busquets like a really solid anchorman, very, very good stats across the board, really, really worthy of picking up as well. And then we have got, last but not least, we have got Rafinha, who we have also mentioned in the other review that we've done. We have got Rafinha here, who tops out at an even better rate. And so we'll see here, you can compare him with the other video that I did. He tops out at a 29 overall rate, or a 93 overall with a 29 level overall rating. This is a standard card compared right as you can see that it's way better even though they got the same player levels it's way better card and then this is his other version but he, this is wrong because he's only got 23 levels to go and we're after going over that with this card so you can just see that this card the only difference that this card has is the actual dribbling which is insane when you think about it right so this card is the best version of him out there by a good bit his standard version is still good you're still getting you know the best bits that you can get but the speed and acceleration and dribbling here, 
I'm really keen to test this guy out because Dembele is so good and this guy seems to be very, very like Dembele. And then last but not least, we have Araujo. Now, I know a lot of people swear by this guy. Him and um, him and Tomori from AC Milan. I know that a lot of guys swear by him. I've played with him and I don't think he's that good, his standard card. But again, his standard card has got room to grow here. But this guy is just insane, lads. He's... He is card, right? I haven't played with him in terms of this card, but he looks insane is what I mean. Now, I've played with his standard version and he didn't really do it for me. I've played with this version of him and he hasn't really done it for me. I did play about six or seven matches with him. He never really stood out for me, but this card looks insane because you've got the defensive awareness and you've got the speed and acceleration. You've got tackling and aggression. You've got jump and he's really tall with that header as well. And he's got some really nice player skills. If you go into his card here, we have got some nice player skills to go over as well because of that. Now, he is on wavering form as well. Sliding tackle, blocker, interception, and heading. So the only thing he doesn't have there, I think, is uh, man marking, which, again, if you're not going to be using man marking, you don't really need to worry about that. But yeah, this Barcelona pack, lads, is very, very, very solid. And I saw in the comments of my last video that people are saying that they find that this pack for 900 coins is good value. Uh, I mean, that's completely up to you guys. I mean, whether you want to spend or not. You can see the standard versions. They're not too far away from these ones. The way I look at it is that you either have time or you have money. If you've got the time to invest and train up and boost your players with XP and do all the events and you've time to like play game after game after game and play 20 hours a week boosting up your team to get the finalized versions of these players and get all the trainer points, you know, brilliant. If you don't and you want to like jump ahead, um, that's completely up to everybody else. And I think that's... Uh, that's where I would say that there. But you definitely can compete with the standard version of the players and compete with the standard players and boost them up max. So that is it for me, lads. I'll be back quite soon. Don't forget to check out all the other videos and let me know if you are uh, going to spin or pack any of these. Peace.